respected brothers and sisters. Indeed, uh, I feel very, very happy uh, to hear you're going to have international as a Buddhist conference in Delhi. Uh, I'm, I always describe myself as a simple Buddhist monk. And since my childhood, I study the text wrote by Nalanda masters. So I consider myself as a student of Nalanda tradition. So naturally, uh, I feel very, very happy. Then meantime, I respect all major origin tradition. In spite of different philosophical views or different concept, all carry same message, message of love, tolerance, forgiveness, self-discipline, contentment, so on. So therefore, all major origin tradition I think the last few thousand years, I think, uh, helped humanity immensely. And at present, I think over a billion human beings, few billion human beings still follow these different measurable institutions. In future also, at least a few centuries, this major world tradition certainly uh, provides humanity more deeper values. In this different major world tradition, in philosophical fields, there are differences, even within uh, uh, Buddhist tradition and even within non tradition, there are uh, major different philosophical school of thought. So it is necessary. You see, the people, among the people, uh, different major disposition, naturally there. So according to different major disposition, it is very relevant and necessary different concepts, different philosophical views in order to transform their mind. Now, Buddha Dharma. Uh, carry. You see, firstly, uh, you see, no creator. <laughs> like some ancient Indians of tradition, uh, like Sangha philosophy, there are two groups. One Sangha philosophy, uh, except creator. One Sangha philosophy, uh, no concept of creator. And then Jains as well. And then Buddhism, uh, no concept of creator. Uh, so this is for big differences. Uh, and then within those uh, tradition or, or Indian tradition, you see the no concept of creator, but within there is a concept of atma and anathema differences. Then within Buddhism, about the meaning of anathema, there are different views. So, so these different philosophical views uh, is relevant to millions of people who followed different, uh, I mean, who have different mental disposition. Therefore, we need different way of approach, different philosophical views is necessary. Now, as far as Buddhism is concerned, uh, of course, Buddhism very much emphasis, you see, I say the 
the, on the basis of concept of the self-creation. So all, you see, uh, I'll say the future, one's own future, entirely depend on oneself. So therefore, uh, and then uh, the old major uh, Indian traditions, the, it's a concept of uh, shamatha, training of mind, single-pointed mind, and then the concept of vipassana, analytical meditation. All ancient Indian tradition, this is a common practice. Usually I describe the practice of shila, practice of shamatha, practice of uh, vipassana, all ancient Indian tradition, more or less same. Since, you see, the practice of shamatha and vipassana, these are training of mind. So therefore, these tradition automatically, you see, a uh, lot of explanation about mind, about emotion, how to tackle our emotion. So that I consider, uh, consider as an academic subject, not as a religious subject, but the academic subject, and you see, tackle our emotion. So usually I am describing. Uh, we usually, you see, uh, learning or educate about hygiene of physical. So now similarly, hygiene of emotion is very relevant. Now today's world. Uh, I think a lot of problem. I think actually seven billion human beings, no one wants a problem. But many problems are on creation. Why? Too much I say the emotion. Once too much emotion develops there, we can't see the reality. Then the method uh, becomes unrealistic method. So no matter how, I'll say the good motivation and good goal, but method become unrealistic. So that always create a problem. So in order to carry realistic, I'll say the method, you should know the reality. In order to know the reality, firstly, you see, your mind should be calm. Uh, too much emotion. You can't, cannot, you cannot so carry investigation properly. So, uh, calm mind, then use human brain, human also intelligence properly. Look anything from different angles, uh, three dimensions or four dimensions, six dimensions. So in that field, I think training of mind is very, very uh, relevant, very useful. So therefore, the ancient Indian sort of knowledge about mind, about emotion, that method how to tackle these, uh, uh, not only ancient Indian sort of knowledge, but also relevant to this world. Then these knowledge, as far as Buddhism is concerned, I think knowledge tradition really marvelously explain these things. And then uh, we Tibetan, as a student of Indian master, uh, particularly student of Nalanda tradition. According to my own experience, I found really immense help uh, from the knowledge about the Nalanda tradition, about our emotion and how to tackle our emotion. And then, the, according to Nalanda tradition, main practice or main message is uh, Ubaya site, Bodhicitta, Karuna, Mahakaruna, and the Pranja site, uh, Shunyata. Oh, now Shunyata. Uh, now, uh, quantum physics also, you see, quantum physics sort of view, very similar. Once, you see, the Indian sort of nuclear physicist, I said, the Raja, Lady Raja Ramana, now he told me once in Delhi, 
The quantum physics in the world, in the West, is something new concept. But in this country, uh, more than 2,000 years, this concept already there. She mentioned Nagarjuna's some text. She found the, quantum, quantum, the concept of quantum physics already there. She mentioned to me. It is true. So therefore, uh, now, present world, a lot of problem due to too much emotion here. Uh, such period, whether believer or non-believer, the ancient Indian knowledge, how to tackle our emotion is very relevant. So now, uh, ancient Indian knowledge, and particularly Narada tradition, which we preserve, uh, so that I think really can be useful uh, to bring inner peace. So therefore, now uh, I believe this in this conference uh, is a, a possible some serious discussion there how to uh, how should we carry this in this knowledge uh, not religious sort of uh, propagating Buddhism I never try to uh, propagating Buddhism I simply say think how much we can contribute for better human being better world better family better individual to our sort of knowledge. So these things uh, for Buddhist, these practice uh, uh, meant for uh, next life or Nirvana Moksha or Buddhahood. Uh, but this knowledge, uh, not necessarily, you see, uh, practice these things for next life or Nirvana Moksha or Buddhahood. But these dangerous life very, very helpful to bring inner peace, calm mind, and your physical health much improve uh, through mental peace. So therefore, even so the health viewpoint, training of mind is something very important. So the Buddhist tradition can have great potential to serve to humanity, not as a religion, but training of mind so that i want to share with you of course uh, these things you already know but there's no harm to repeat these things <laughs> which based on truth there's no problem so thank you very much <laughs>